Okay, so in this problem, they're asking us to find the numerical measures of central tendency. That's the mean, median, and mode for this course. And what I want to do first, just because it's good practice, is to take these numbers and put them in order. Because right now they're not in numerical order, and it's probably best if we put them in order for things like the median, right? So I'm going to say, okay, let's see, 53, then it looks like 60 is the next number in the list, then there's a 70, then it looks like there's a couple of 75s, right? What else do we have? We have an 80, and then a 90, and a 97. Let's make sure we didn't leave anything out. I'm going to count up what I have here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbers, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbers. So I believe I have everything accounted for now. All right, now with those data values, my next step is going to be able to, or to be to find the mean. So the mean is just the summation of all the x values, right, divided by the number of x values. So this is the notation that we would use to express the sample mean. That symbol for sample mean, recall, is x bar. So if I want to find the sample mean, I would add up all the given x values and divide by the number of values given to me. Okay, so I've actually typed all these values in my calculator because I didn't want to spend the time on the video to do it. I think that's pretty straightforward what you have to do. So you add them all together, and you get a total of 600. And if we divide 600 by 8, right, that's the number of values I have. I get the answer 75. So basically I had a sum of 600, I divided by 8, and I got an average of 75. Okay, let's get the median next. The median, the sample median, has this symbol, it's x tilde, so that's a symbol we use for median. And if I try to find that, I have to find the number right in the middle. Well, you know, actually there's the middle right there, right? Because those two values are in the middle. And so normally what we do is we average the two middle values if there's an equal number of values on the left and the right. So because it's an even number of values given to us, we don't have a distinct number right in the middle. We have two numbers in the middle. So we're supposed to take those two numbers in the middle and we're supposed to average them. Of course, if you average them, you're going to get 75, right? But the way you would do it is you do 75 plus 75. That, of course, gives you 150. And then you would divide it in half. And when you're done, you would get 75. Of course, in this case, we didn't need a calculator for that, and you know, usually you don't. But I mean, sometimes you might want to if it are two different numbers instead of both being the same number. All right, and then lastly, we'll get the mode. So what's the mode for the data set? Well, the mode is very simple. The mode is just the most repeated value in the list, if there even is a repeated value. Sometimes there isn't. In this case, there is, though. The most repeated value is 75. So it looks like for this data set, the mean, the median, and the mode are all in the same place.